Okay, so even if you only have a very basic understanding of algebra, you should be able to get this problem correct. This is a very easy problem to solve, especially with our answer choices right here. Let's go and take a look at the problem. We have x plus y is equal to 8 and x minus y is equal to negative 2. All right, so this is a multiple choice question. Our answer uh, choice A is negative 3, 5, B is 1, 7, C is 3, 5, and D is 4, 4. Now, if you understand what the answers represent, okay, well, then you should absolutely, uh, absolutely be able to get this uh, correct. Now, if you're a little bit lost, all I have to do is teach you a tiny little bit of algebra, and you too will be able to answer this question correctly. Now, this type of situation is a perfect question for those of you that are t uh, still taking math exams, if you see something like this, you should be celebrating. You'll be like, yes, yes, I'm going to get this 100% correct. There's really no excuse for getting this problem wrong. All right, so if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let me go ahead and erase this little uh, happy face guy right there. One of the fun things to do on YouTube is to kind of, you know, draw these little silly expressions, try to make math you know, not so uh, intimidating or boring. But let's go and take one more look at the question. So we have x plus y is equal to 8, and x minus y is equal to negative 2. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a hint before I show you the answer, all right? So for those of you that are confused on the answer choices, in other words, what they uh, represent, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. So what we are looking at right here is something called ordered pairs or coordinates or x, y points. All right, so basically uh, these are two points or two coordinates, x and y. Okay, so like for example, for b, uh, so uh, this is 1, 7. Okay, so our x is 1 and our y is 7. Okay, so this is what this means. And of course, I'll explain to you uh, what this is all about. But I am giving you a bit of a hint here, right? So x here is 1 and y is 7. So if you understand that, then again, you should be able to get this completely right. All right, let's go take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is C, which is 3, 5. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and a plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence for solving two variable linear systems or maybe just being, uh, you know, astute and yet, uh, taking multiple choice exams. You're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I got this right, and I didn't even know how to do the problem. I just figured this out on my own by using these answers and plugging in the values into, you know, I figured out which one uh, was correct. And that's exactly what you should have done, all right? Now, of course, I'm gonna explain to you how to solve this problem directly, but when you are dealing with a multiple choice uh, math question, you know, nine times out of 10, you can use the answers to figure out the, the actual solution to the problem, right? Even if you don't know how to do the problem. So let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. Okay, so here is our uh, scenario. We have this uh, two variable linear system. That's what this thing is in math. And that's a pretty fa uh, fancy uh, title or description. Like, oh boy, that sounds you know so complex. Two variable linear system. What does this all mean? Well, let's just do a fast review. All right, so two variable. Well, there's two variables here, x and y. So I'm calling this a two variable linear. Now I'm kind of spell this out real quick. Uh, system. All right, so this is just going to be a, a quick, quick review for those of you that maybe forgot all that algebra that you learned way back in 1982 or some year like that. Okay, so two variable. Uh, we have two variables, x and y. Now linear. What's the root word of linear? Okay, so this is a big word in algebra. Well, the root word is line. Okay, so these uh, equations here 
are actual equations of lines. Okay, in other words, a line that you could graph on the xy plane. So this is some line right here, and this is like another line. All right, so now we are considering uh, this uh, as kind of one thing. All right, now when we're looking at two uh, equations as one, okay, that's what we call effectively a system. There's uh, certainly a more um, kind of detailed uh, definition of a system, but that's basically kind of more or less what it is. All right, so a two-variable linear system. Now, how do you solve these? Well, effectively, the solution, now remember, these things right here represent x, y points. So let's go to talk about these real quick. Remember, this is a line and this is a line. In other words, we can graph this line and graph this line. And uh, let's talk real quick about what the solution to a linear system uh, represents. So I'm going to kind of sketch out real quick a basic x, y graph. All right, so here's x, here's y. And let's suppose one of these lines looks like this. We'll call this line 1. And maybe another line goes like this. Okay, we'll call this line 2. All right, so again, we're going back over here to our linear systems. So our, our equations in our linear systems. So maybe this is like line 2, and then this is like line 1. So don't let this notation bother you. But you can see here that in my little uh, sketch, uh, these things intersect right here. Okay, let me use a different color. So right there, these points are intersecting at this uh, uh, spot, okay, this location on the xy plane. So the way you describe a point or location on the xy plane is an xy coordinate. Now, for example, this one could be maybe like 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe something like 1, 4. All right, so hopefully... Uh, you understand how to plot points on the xy plane and you know how to graph lines these are very basic uh, algebra skills and if you're struggling with any of this i'll give you some specific recommendations how you can improve and learn this stuff all right so the whole idea um, behind solving a system a two variable linear system is to effectively try to find the point of intersection in other words i'm going to graph this line graph this line and where these two lines uh, intersect is the solution okay so in this case uh, our um, answer is c35 so if i was to actually graph these lines we would find that these uh, lines would intersect uh, at this point 35 on the xy plane all right but uh, when it comes to systems there's all con all kinds of different scenarios that can happen so you can have one line okay like this and of course you have another line that uh, crosses through this, we can actually graph the lines and look for the point of intersection. That's called the graphing method, right? And this is something you learn in algebra. But let's suppose we graph this second line and it goes like this, all right? So let's say our second line, uh, when we graph it, it looks like this. Now, this, these two lines here are parallel. So what do you think the solution is? You might be saying, hmm, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, they're not crossing. Maybe there is no solution. Well, you would be correct, right? So uh, here, uh, you know, this system has no solution. So, you know, you, it's, you're not guaranteed to have a solution when it comes to a system. You have to work the problem out. So you can have a scenario where you have a solution. You can have a scenario where there is no solution. And then you can have another scenario where you have infinitely many solutions, where you have one line on top of another line. So, you know, this is really big and important uh, topics in um algebra but uh, let's go back to how we can solve this it's super easy and then we'll get into actually how to directly solve this using some algebra all right so all right so again remember these are x y points okay now if you understood that you could just start testing points so let's just go ahead and test our correct answer let's suppose you're testing these and oh, these are not going to work and you get to choice c so uh, 3 is x and 5 is y. So what we need to do here is plug in for these variables uh, a 3. Let me kind of uh, be very clear about this. 3 is going to be our x and 5 is going to be our y. So for y right here, let's plug in a 5. And for x, we'll plug in a 3. Now let's see if this works out. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. And now let's go and check this equation. So this would be 3 minus 5. 
uh, is 3 minus 5, negative 2. Uh, indeed, this works out. So you can just, uh, you know, plug these uh, solutions in until you find the, the right one that balances the equations, right? The ones that makes this thing work. Because if you plug in 1 and 7, we're going to have 1 plus 7. Although this 1 and 7 works right here, okay, this is another great thing about <laughs> this particular question. Uh, you can be like, oh, 1 7. A 1 plus 7, look, Mr. YouTube Math, man, that works right here. But 1 7 is not going to work down here. You have to check both equations. So 1 minus 7, this is a negative 6. Negative 6 is not equal to negative 2. So when you're solving um, or when you're checking solutions into a linear systems on multiple choice questions, you have to check both uh, solutions, all right, both uh, equations, excuse me. All right, so again, if you understand this, this is one of these questions that you should like get 100% right. All right, so this is how you um, answer the question with just basic algebra knowledge and an understanding of the answers by just plugging in and checking. Now let's go ahead and get into the uh, actual algebra to solve this system. All right, so we talked about how we could graph these lines and then find the point of intersection. That's actually called the graphing method. And if you had graphing paper, you could actually do this, but that's a, not a practical method. What we want to do here is use algebraic methods to solve this system. And uh, there's basically two main methods. There's the substitution method, and there's uh, the linear combination, sometimes referred to as the elimination method. They're both equally good, and you need to know both. Okay, And you use one method. Uh, uh, it all re really depends on the system and... Um, you know, whether the question is saying, hey, uh, use the substitution method to solve or use the elimination uh, method to solve. But you need to know both methods. All right. So in this particular problem, I am going to use the elimination method. In both of these methods, what we're trying to do is build one equation with one variable. So, for example, if I said, hey, 2x two plus, two x, plus uh, x minus 3 is equal to 7, most of you out there hopefully could solve this basic algebra equation because there's only one variable, x, right? And then we have our numbers here. So what we want to do is get away from equations with two variables. We want to just make one, one equation here with one variable. So we want to eliminate one variable, okay? Now, how can we do that? Well, it just all depends on the method that you're going to be using, the substitution or uh, elimination uh, or linear combination, the objective is the same, is to create a new equation with one variable. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm trying to cover a good amount in a short period of time, but uh, you know, um, those of you out there that are studying algebra, uh, you definitely have to master these techniques. And so if you're confused, uh, I will give you some specific recommendations on how you can really master this in just one second. So if you get a little bit lost, just kind of stick with me. All right, so we're going to use the elimination, linear combination method. Now, this method's awesome because it's basically like the peanut butter and jelly method of solving systems. In other words, here's our bread, here's our peanut butter and our jelly. We're going to combine this into uh, one lovely sandwich. And you're allowed to do that when it comes to systems. In other words, I can actually combine uh, these two equations to form a new equation. Okay. Now, sometimes the new equation... Uh, that is, um, you know, the result of adding two equations together. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, that's not going to really help us out. But in this case, if we combine these two equations right here, we're going to eliminate the y variable. Okay, and that's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and add down combining these, right, a linear combination. We're combining these to eliminate. Okay, eliminate what? The y variable. So x plus x is 2x plus y minus y is zero. So the y's go away. We're super happy about that. And then eight minus two is six. So we have two x is equal to six. And now we could solve this uh, equation because we only have one variable. Two x is equal to six. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by two. So x is equal to three. All right, now that we have one, whoops, kind of went too far right here. Now that we have one of the variables here, x is equal to three, to figure out what y is uh, equal to, all we have to do is plug in this 3 into this equation or this equation. So let's go to take the next step right now. 
which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't you just love the way I kind of just sneak that in? Well, I have to sneak it in because I have a goal. Now, I hope you have a goal, okay, whatever that might be, okay? Maybe your goal is to like hurry up and pass math and never take math again. Yeah, that's a great goal, okay, if that happens to be your goal. But whatever the case is, you should have goals in your life, okay? Like, hey, this is what I'm trying to go for. Maybe you're trying to get your degree. Maybe you're trying to get your certification. Maybe you're just trying to relearn math. Maybe you're trying to stay healthy. Whatever the case is, you should have goals. Now, my goal with this channel is to reach as many people as possible to help them in math. Now, I'm pretty fortunate. I do reach a lot of people, but I need to reach more because that's what makes me happy as a math teacher because there's nothing worse than you know, talking to a person that says, you know, I've been struggling with math. I hated math always since 1965. I had some math teacher tell me I was terrible at math, and I was going to be an engineer, and I, I can't tell you how many stories. Uh, I've lost count, okay, and they're kind of sad stories. They're not kind of sad. They actually are because a lot of people were discouraged about math either because of their own negative thinking, I'm bad at math, which is not right, or some somebody told them that, you know, something that they believed. And this impacted their entire life. So I'm trying to intervene and be like, hey, no, 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 you can learn math, but it requires work, ef work effort and great instruction. All right, so real quick before we get into the rest of this problem, if you are struggling in algebra, you need to know about systems, linear systems, two variable systems, check out my, my pre-algebra, algebra one course, really my algebra one course. I'll, you'll see a link to it in the description below. But systems are, uh, this topic of systems is taught, it's kind of introduced in pre-algebra, but it's in algebra one, it's in algebra two, it's even in pre-calculus. It's a big, big deal. Matter of fact, in college, there's a, a, a dedicated math, very advanced math course called Linear Algebra, and Linear Algebra is like a key, uh, you know, math that you need to understand for like, you know, all this artificial intelligence programs. All this stuff is used in real life. All right, now I know I'm talking a lot here, uh, but, you know, I want to keep you motivated, all right, to keep working on math, right? Don't give up. And if you need uh, more help beyond this video, you know where to look. All right, so let's go and finish this up now. So x is equal to 3. That is what the answer is for x. So how do we find y? Well, you have two equations, x plus y is equal to 8 and x minus y is equal to negative 2. So I can replace this x or this x. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, I'll choose this uh, equation. Of course, this equation will be a little bit easier to solve for y, right? So now that we know x is 3, we're going to replace this x with 3. So we have 3 plus y is equal to 8. So to solve this equation for y, all we have to do is subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, and we have y is equal to 5. But what does that mean? Well, that means that in this system, if we were to graph these two uh, lines, these two linear equations, uh, those lines would intersect at the coordinate 3, 5, the ordered pair, okay, the point on the x, y axis. All right, so hopefully this little video helps you out. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, uh, you know, you just need to uh, stop with the commentary and just get to the math. Well, listen, a huge part of being successful in math, I've been doing this for decades, when I've helped people in math, the first place I have to start is their mindset, okay? I can't help somebody if they have a negative mindset. And I'm talking about, they're not negative themselves. I'm talking about, uh, you know, I'm not going to really learn this. And I start with, you know, kind of the personal development side. I say, hey, listen, I get someone motivated. Hey, you can do this. You know, get them really believing in themselves. And as soon as you start believing in yourself in terms of like, oh, I can do this, you start getting, you know, some confidence about your ability to learn, then everything is going to go smoother. I'd never try to teach somebody, uh, you know, initially by just, you know, I, I check in to see what kind of mindset they have. So you need to do that for yourself. I wish I could do that for all of you out there. I can't, but I'm just here to tell you, right? I'm kind of passing this message on that needs to be said because uh, there's so much negative news about math proficiencies these days. Everyone's failing math. You know, we're declining as a country, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, if you want to be successful in math, you absolutely can. So don't give up. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.